Southwest spread our wings in the 80s and soared to new destinations throughout the country. We began to move to the other states bordering Texas in 1980, adding Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Albuquerque. We also reinstated service to Houston Intercontinental. Almost before we knew it, we were 10 years old. We're celebrating 10 years of love, Southwest style. I give them a 10. We're celebrating 10 years of loving you more often. To more of the places you want to go. Houston, here I come. All of us at Southwest Airlines have been in love with all of you for a whole 10 years now. Even the captain. And you ain't seen nothing yet. In a special ceremony, the Winning Spirit aircraft was christened and dedicated to our original employees. We owe them a world of gratitude and thanks. In 1981, CEO and President Howard Putnam resigned to join the then ailing Braniff. On February 23, 1982, Herb agreed to take on the roles of CEO and President. Under Herb's helm, Southwest continued to soar, opening Las Vegas, Phoenix, San Diego, Kansas City, Los Angeles, and San Francisco that same year. We launched an advertising campaign focusing on the fun and spirit of Herb and our great airline. There's a certain Southwest spirit. This is what we call our Quicken machine. It allows you to buy a ticket in about 30 seconds. There's a certain Southwest style. Just take your credit card and run it through the machine like this. Uh, just like this. There's a certain Southwest flair. Uh, Patty, what's wrong with this machine? Price expired, Herb. Oh. We're Southwest Airlines. On February 8, 1983, our beloved T.J. Love was born. The story of T.J. Love was told in author Winifred Barnum's book, Gum Wrappers and Goggles. This story about a little airplane that thought he could and finally did begin to fly parallels the story of Southwest Airlines. Southwest launched service to Denver the first time in May. We eventually ceased service in September 1986. As governor of Arkansas in 1984, Bill Clinton helped cut the ribbon of our service into Little Rock. Southwest was proud to be the launch customer for Boeing's next generation 737-300. We celebrated this milestone on December 16, 1984 at a gala dinner. It was a great tribute from the visionaries who gave America the freedom to fly to the two brothers who proved that man could. Tonight, we honor these two brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright, and their unforgettable moment in aviation history. And tonight, we honor other men and women and other moments in aviation history. For if Orville and Wilbur pioneered the right stuff, our guest speaker tonight perfected it. It's a pleasure to be associated with, with Southwest Airlines because Herb, I fly on a lot of airplanes. Some of them I fly myself, others I ride in the back. And I'll tell you, it's a pleasure to work with people that have the right attitude and are aggressive and obviously know how to run an airline because that's few and far between in these times and, and days. And I want to congratulate you, and it's a pleasure to be here and talk with all of your friends. Thank you very much. Southwest Airlines is delighted to present our surprise guest star, Mr. Bob Hope! Let me tell you, I'm, I'm as surprised as you are that I'm here. <laughs> I was flying to El Paso, and this is where the ticket agent sent me. And I met Herb Kelleher just a minute ago. I had the feeling he was chairman of the board when he introduced himself as God. No, but he's a nice man, and he told me I could ride on Southwest any time. Just let him know, and he'll put me on standby. The following day, December 17th, Southwest unveiled our new Boeing 737-300 as Kitty Hawk. The inaugural flight from Dallas Love Field took place 81 years to the day after the Wright Brothers' historic flight. 
St. Louis and Chicago received a little luck of the Irish as Southwest arrived with our low fares and fun Southwest spirit on St. Patrick's Day, 1985. In May, we soared to Ontario with an introductory fare of $9 for nine days. Inside each Southwest employee, a servant's heart beats. Not only do you take care of our customers, but you give to those in need. Following the loss of his daughter to leukemia, Captain Dick East began volunteering at the Ronald McDonald houses in cities to which he flew. His dedication to the Ronald McDonald house quickly spread throughout the Southwest family as many employees began cooking monthly dinners. And in 1985, the airline that Love built named the house that Love built as our primary charity. A home away from home, the Ronald McDonald houses offer the families of children receiving medical treatment a place to stay, a place near the hospital. For more than 20 years now, Southwest employees have dedicated countless volunteer hours sharing strength, stability, and support. To further share our love, we also host the annual Love Classic Golf Tournaments. To date, the tournaments have raised nearly $8 million for the Ronald McDonald Houses. No greater gift can be given than that of one's self. Thanks for giving a little bit of yourself and a lot of hope to these families in need. choose to become a friend with anyone we know I wish you well I wish you I wish you love I wish you love oh I wish you all I can I wish you peace I wish you peace. I wish you hope I wish you hope oh, until we meet my friends oh I wish you well An upstart rival invaded our happy skies. Muse Air, an airline started by Lamar Muse and his son. They blew into town and tried to take over Houston Hobby and Love Field. Our warrior spirit prevailed, and on June 25, 1985, Southwest took over Muse Air. The name was changed the following year to Transtar. On August 9, 1987, Transtar ceased operations. Service began to Nashville in 1986, marking our first venture into the Southeast. We soared to Birmingham and Detroit the following year. In 1987, Southwest began advertising the company plane. Because our flights are so convenient, our service so attentive, and our fares so low, business people actually thought of Southwest Airlines as the company plane. To show appreciation for our loyal customers, we launched the company club our frequent flyer program. Based on total trips flown, regardless of distance, it is the simplest and fastest way to receive free round trip tickets. Because most of Southwest Airlines flights are short, we reward our company club members for short trips. Not long miles. Southwest Airlines, eight short round trips get you a free round trip. Southwest Airlines has one of the best on-time records in the country. Mr. Smith, you're early. Just something to remember. Southwest Airlines, non-stops to Houston Hobby, Dallas Love Field, and Phoenix. It was an alliance like none before it. One of the country's most respected air powers joined forces with one of the world's most spectacular sea powers. A Boeing 737 aircraft was hidden in an undisclosed hangar far from the public eye. Then 48 gallons of white gloss paint, 30 gallons of black gloss paint, and 18 gallons of Southwest colors were applied. And on the morning of May 23, 1988, it was indeed a whale of a surprise as Southwest Airlines and SeaWorld of Texas announced the arrival of Shamu-1. On May 30, 1990, Shamu-1 got a mate 
Shamu-2, our 100th aircraft. The proud parents gave birth to the third whale in our pod, Shamu-3, on September 7, 1990. We raced to Indianapolis and on to Oakland in 1989. And Southwest Airlines reached major carrier status that year by exceeding $1 billion in operating revenues. What a way to end the decade. Our fleet had grown to 94, and we were 7,760 strong. The love theme disappeared from our advertising, but we still had a unique image. And people continued to talk about the way we dressed and the fun we had. There's a certain Southwest spirit. One reason we're successful is that we take the competition seriously, but not ourselves. There's a certain Southwest style. I know another thing that probably has something to do with our success, the way we dress. There's a certain Southwest flair. But what really makes us successful is that we paint the names of famous people on our airplanes. We're Southwest Airlines, keeping fares low and spirits high for you. During the 80s, we learned that we were really living up to Herb and Rollins' original dream. Customers were flying Southwest not only because we were affordable, but because it was fun and enjoyable. The employees of Southwest Airlines were proving to be our biggest competitive advantage. You set us apart from other airlines with your warrior spirits, servants' hearts, and fun-loving attitudes. When we're at the stick, we feel right at home. Wheels up, flaps up, we're gone, gone, gone. Today, Amarillo and tomorrow, L.A. Wheels up, flaps up, we're on our way. But after we've spent several days above, wheels down, flaps down, we're back home at low. Shuffle fun. Shuffle fun. Shuffle fun. Shuffle fun. Shuffle fun. My name is her Big Daddy O. You should all know me. I run this show. Without your help, there'd be no love on the ground below or in the air above. You're truly my source of strength and pride. And I sure am glad you're on my side. Shuffle fun, shuffle, shuffle fun, shuffle fun, fun, shuffle fun, shuffle. Southwest.